Boys and girls, big people, older folks who are young at heart, welcome to Storytime with Raquel. My name is Raquel Sutherland and I am going to tell you some stories. But before I start the story, I usually say crick and you say crack. And when the story ends, I say why a bang and you say Story end. Let's try. Crick. Ah, good job. Now story begins. This story is called Mangoose and the Calabash. And in Jamaica, we have a calabash. And calabash is used for many things. You can carry water inside of it. You can carry aki. You can carry food. You can carry anything you want inside of the calabash. And so the story begins. Now, long ago, Mongoose used to be a thief. He would go around the village, steal people's food, put it in his calabash, take it down to the riverbank, and hide it. Now, Anansi had a son named Kwaku. Kwaku was also a thief. He used to go down to the riverbank, Steal mangoose calabash with all of his food, eat it all up, drink up the river water, gloop, 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 and wash it down. Now, mangoose sent out to all the village and he told them that if they found out who was stealing his food, he would give them a reward a hefty sum of money. But nobody paid Mongoose any mind because Mongoose was a thief. And so nobody paid him any mind. Because in Jamaica they say, when a thief who steals from another thief, God laughs. <laughs> so nobody paid Mongoose any mind. So Mongoose decided to set a trap for himself. So he went down to the riverbank and set a trap and waited beside the riverbank with all the stones and hid behind it. So one day Anansi's son went missing. And Anansi knew right away that it must be Mongoose, it must be Kwaku that was stealing the food. So Mongoose went down to the riverbank. Anansi went down to the riverbank to find Kwaku. And so when Anansi went down to the riverbank to find his son, guess what he saw? He saw Kwaku in the trap that Mongoose had set for him. And he was hanging from the trap and the blood was running to his head. And so Anansi started to get worried. Anansi started to cry because he knew that he must get his son out of the trap before the sun set or else he would die. So Anansi thought of a plan, and Anansi knew that Mas Bedward was cooking some chicken in his kitchen. Boys and girls, I know you know what that is, chicken and kitchen. That's a rhyme. Very good. No, Anansi knew that Mas Bedward was cooking some chicken in his kitchen, and so he told Mongoose, and he called out to Mongoose and said, Mongoose! I hear that Moss Bedward is cooking some chicken in his kitchen and he told me to tell you to come and get some chicken for yourself. But Mongoose wasn't paying much attention for a Nancy was a trickster and he was also a thief. And so Mongoose ran off to Mass Bedward House, leaving his calabash with all the food inside of it. And as soon as he went off, Anansi took up the calabash, cut his son down from the trap, and they went home. Mongoose went into Mass Bedward kitchen, took up one of his fat, 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 piece of 
chicken as he was about to eat it. Mas Bedward came out with a long piece of bamboo stick. And he said to Mongoose, Mongoose, let's go off from a chicken. Mongoose put the chicken in his waistcoat pocket and he ran off. And Mongoose gallop, Mongoose gallop, and he ran off into the wild. And Mas Bedward running after Mongoose. And from that day until now, Mongoose went off into the wild eating snakes, lizards, frogs, and even little baby chickens. And he went off into the wild. And so, boys and girls, the moral of the story is that you should not steal. If you need something, you should always ask for it. Don't be like Sly Mongoose, whose name gone abroad. Sly Mongoose, whose name gone abroad. Go in a bedward kitchen, take out one of him fat, fat chicken, push it in a him waistcoat pocket. Sly mongoose, sly mongoose, say, say your name gone abroad. Sly mongoose, say, say your name gone abroad. Mongoose, go in a bedward kitchen, take out one of him fat, fat chicken, push it in a him waistcoat pocket. Sly Mongoose. And that was Mongoose and the Calabash. Now, boys and girls, I am going to tell you another story called Dora and the Aki. Now, Aki in Jamaica is a kind of a, like a, a fruit. You can eat it. You can cook whatever you want with it. It's our national dish. We used to cook it with aki and salt fish. And people eat aki with just about anything, like a breadfruit or dumplings, whatever you call dumplings. Sure, you eat aki with it. And so the story is about Dora and the aki. And Dora's mother wanted some aki because she wanted to eat some aki with just about anything. And they, she had two kids, Dora, and a nice and gentle one who was very kind and gentle. And Dora was somewhat mean. Dora never liked to give away anything at all. And so they had to cross a riverbed in order to go and pick the aki. So when they set off to cross the riverbed, they have to walk through a little forest and they had to pass like maca tree. Now a maca tree is somewhat like a bush, but it has a lot of pricks around it. And if that ever touch your skin, it will burn like fire. So they had to carefully walk through the maca trees and then they had to pass some dogs. No, they had to hide behind bushes whenever their dogs will feel like they hear the dogs and they hid from the dogs. And when they reach to the aki tree, they climb up on the aki tree and they pick lots of aki and they put it in their calabash and they put it on top of their head and they were happy to go through the river. Now, no rain or water was falling for a while, so the riverbed was kind of dry. And so when they had crossed over, the river was dry. But it looked as though when they were coming back, rain was falling somewhere because there was a little tubes of water, like a little stream of water coming down into the river. And so Dora's sister remember that she must give the river some aki. So she took out one of the aki outside of her calabash and she threw it into the river and she thanked the river because the river did a lot of things for us. The river gave us water, it makes us wash our clothes and a lot of stuff. So Dora's sister thanked the river and crossed over. So now as Dora was about to put her foot inside of the riverbed, the river started to bubble bubble up. And the river was making a little joke with Dora. And the river said, if you no give me one aki, you na pass ya. If you no give me one aki, you na pass ya. If you no give me one aki, you na pass ya. Dry river, go come, come wash your way. And the sister took up the song and said, 
Gimon Dora Gimon. Gimon Dora Gimon. Gimon Dora Gimon. Dry river go come, come wash your way. But Dora wasn't making fun at all. Dora, he started. Give him one, eh? Where was he when I had to pass through Maca tree and he wasn't there? Give him what? And the river started to bubble up some more. And this time it looked like the river wasn't playing, you know. The river was come, coming straight up to Dora's ankle. And Dora said, eh, the Dora sister over on the other side said, just give him one, no, Dora. Give him one, Aki, that's all. Don't be like mean star apple. Because boys and girls, star apple tree is no matter how you would throw a stick to get the star apple, the star apple would not fall until it was really, really ripe and it fall and burst and you don't get it. So some people used to call Dora star apple. And so Dora's sister was like, don't be like star apple. Just give him one Dora, just one, one Aki. And Dora is starting, give him what? He was there. When I had to cross over and hide from the dogs, give him what, eh? And the river started getting a little bit more angry. And it bubbled up to Dora's knee and said, if you not give me one aki, you not pass ya. If you not give me one aki, you not pass ya. If you not give me one aki, you not pass ya. Dry river, go come, come wash your way. And the little sister always said, give me one, Dora, give me one. Give him one door, give him one. Just give him one door, give him one. Dry river, go come, come wash your way. And Dora is started, give him what? He was dear. He was dear when I had to climb that aki tree and nearly fall out of that aki tree. He was there, give him what? And the river started bubbling up some more. And it bubbled up to Dora's waist. And Dora's sister on the other side. And she take off the basket off her head. And she put it down and she said, to Dora, please, no Dora, please. Just give him one again. Just give him one, Dora. Give him one. And Dora is started, me not giving him none. You know, him is like some people who when people work hard, they want to take away everything that they want from other people. No, him wasn't there when I had to struggle to get the aki. And the river get vexed and start bubble up some more. And it come up to Dora's nose. And Dora take the basket, the calabash off her head. And she pull it up a little eye and she start tiptoeing now. And Dora sits on the other side and beg, please, Dora, give me one. Give me one, Dora, give me one. Dry river, go come, come wash your way. And before you know it, Dry river bubble up some more. If you're not give me one aki, you're not pass ya. If you're not give me one aki, you're not pass ya. If you're not give me one aki, you're not pass ya. Dry river, I go come, come wash your way. And Dora, as she was about to open her mouth, get, dry river flood up and cover up Dora. And the aki went all over the river. And Dora's sister on the other side ran home to her mother. And they've been looking for Dora up to this day. But the river spread Aki all over the land of Jamaica inside of everybody's backyard. And so everybody could get to pick their Aki. Now, if you see that your neighbor don't have an Aki tree and you have an Aki, and you pick the aki, and they're asking you for an aki, just give him one, no Dora. Give him one, Dora. Before dry river, go come, come, wash your way. Just give him one, Dora. Dora and the aki. And now, boys and girls, so my last story, I am going to tell you the story of how crab don't have any head. <gasps> You surprised? Did you know that crab don't have any head? Well, when I came to Canada, I remember that I asked one of my friends, when someone dies, what do they do? And she said, nothing. They don't do nothing. They just bury them. 
Well, it's not like that in Jamaica at all. Because in Jamaica, when a person dies, well, you have to have a party. You have to have lots of things. We have nine nights, that is like nine days after the person dies, and you visit the person, and then in the, like the night before the person is buried, like a couple of weeks after the person died and the night before the person is buried, you have a knot of parties. And so we used to have like what we call a dinky mini. So but you have to put your knees them together and dance the dinky mini. That's how we dance the dinky mini, right? And so in my culture, we have lots of parties. And when the party done, you have lots of food. And so boys and girls, Jamaicans are very proud people, you know, because if you was dancing the dinky mini and your mother caught you or your father caught you dancing the dinky mini and nobody no dead, <laughs> you're in some serious trouble. So, they, and then you would say, you know, mommy would say to you, if I ever catch you dancing that dinky mini again, I will put your head pan a black. And you would say, well, after me no crab. And so, boys and girls, how crab lost his head. Long ago, before time began and time began some more, yes, crab father was the head chief maker. He used to make heads for the government. He used to make head with doctors. He used to make ball head, head with blonde hair, head with curly hair, thick and nice hair. He used to make lawyer heads, all sort of heads he would make. And so Crab, father, was born in that time in BC, before computer. And Crab, father, believed that when you are born in that time, you should pass down the skills to your children and their children's children. But Crab's son did not want to know the skill. And Crab's son was born A.D. After that. Mm -hmm, D-A-T that. That is what you call that in Jamaica. So Crab's son was born after that. And you know, kids who are born nowadays, they have to do a lot of things. They globalize and they patronize and they speak highly of everything. And so Crab's father said to him, call him one day and said, come man, come and learn how to make head. But his son was like, no daddy, I don't think everyone in the family should be making heads. I think that we should diversify. We should, you make the heads and I will sell the heads. And so they had a good business going. Crab father was making the head and crab son was selling the head. And so one day they go to the market and market sweet, you know, man. And crab, crab son was selling the head and he sold off all the head and he take the money and he's putting his pocket in his right pocket and he put it in his left pocket and he was putting it all over and he said that he make lots of money, enough, enough money. And so when market finished now, he was going home happy, happy, happy. He was going home very happy and singing the dinky mini song and they were saying like, what is happening? You know, you should be singing that song. But then he caught on to himself and he said, no. He's not singing the song anymore. And so he was singing and dancing and going out. And then he met one, a man he dressed in his full suit and tie. And he, but he never had any head. Because he was coming to the market that day to buy a head. And Crab's son said, you know, market was so good that I sell it off. I sell off all the eggs them, the head them. And he said, oh, I don't have any head anymore left. And he said, no, man, tell me how much you make, and I will give you the money that you make the head with. And he said, no, I don't think so. He said, I will double it by two. And he said, all right. He looked in his pocket, and he looked in his right pocket, and he looked all over, and he took out the money, and he multiplied it. And he said, oh, by two years then? And he said, all right, I will get enough, 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 enough money. And so Crab said, I will give you my head if you give me the two. 
But then he remembered and he said, wait, but how am I going to go home? I will take the eyes out of the head. And he took the eyes out of the head and he put it on his shoulder. That's why you walk like this. Crab walking like that. And so, when Crab walking home now, him hear the song, the dinky mini song, um, Gip up, pa 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 Go down a pa 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 Go down a river, 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 river. Massa Joe dead and bury yo. Massa Joe dead and bury yo. And the crab wonder, then who was that that was buried, that was dead? And crab father was the one that was dead. And crab never learned how to make head. So crab father died and crab never learned how to make any head. And so from that day, crab has been walking without head. Just his two eyes stuck in a in shoulder. So boys and girls, make sure that you keep your head. Keep thinking, keep believing, keep dreaming that you can be just about anything. But you need to listen to your parents. Learn the skills that your parents are telling you to learn. Bye-bye, boys and girls. If you're not give me one aki and I'm pass ya. If you're not give me one aki and I'm pass ya. If you're not give me one aki and I'm pass ya. Dry river go come come wash your way. Thank you boys and girls.